What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. Today, we got a reaction to Billy Joel, a song battle. Zanzibar versus Until the Night, brought to you by friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Joseph, otherwise known as JSB. Thank you, JSB. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you're not supporting in any way why JSB does, check out the Patreon link below with the patron link on the end screen. Couldn't do it without the patrons. Got a free trial going on. Click that link and check it out. JSB has his own channel called Acting is Reacting. I'm going to put a link to it down below. Has some great stuff on there. Huge Billy Joel fan. And he says, been a long time since you and Trey did your top 10 for me. So casual reminder that this was the album, 52nd Street, that changed everything for me. How I came to select it to play my final days of recovering from mumps at age five, I still don't know. Maybe it's the music gods guiding me. But from the opening blast of Big Shot, I was hooked and remained so almost 40 years later. Aside from the throwaway title track that closes the album, I could have gone with any two of the deeper cuts here, and the battle would have been a good one. All right, this was his sixth studio album released in 1978. The follow-up to The Stranger, we have a full album review of that. It's so, so good. First album to reach number one, went there for eight weeks in Grammy for Best Album. Let's jump into it with Zanzibar. The themes of it include love of sports, love of alcohol, and the singer's attempt to pick up a waitress. According to producer Phil Ramone, Joel had written the music he decided he liked the title Zanzibar for the piece, but had not figured out what to say about Zanzibar. Hearing the music conjured up for Ramon images of people watching television in a bar, and as a result, Billy decided to make it about a sports bar named Zanzibar rather than the island Zanzibar. So keep that in mind. We got a number of contemporary at the time sports references. I'm not going to go into everybody. Muhammad Ali, Pete Rose, and New York Yankees. The lyrics also use a baseball expression as a sexual metaphor, which is kind of a time honored thing in music when the singer wants to steal second base with a waitress in the bar if she'll allow it. Now, Ramon claims that he convinced Billy to experiment with creating a jazz mood on the 52nd Street album based on the fact that Joel had written some jazz riffs into the ending of this song. And then Billy Joel biographer Mark Bago claims that if 52nd Street is Billy's tribute to jazz, then Zanzibar is the centerpiece. All right, I'm going to have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again, JSB. So it was in there to really bring that jazz in. It wasn't a total jazz song until that kind of came in. I mean, a little bit on the keys at times. Great storytelling. First verse is about Ali. Second verse is about how Pete Rose is great, but everybody's talking about the New York Yankees. But then we get the waitress in there. He's got his dad's car, trying to get to second base, pulling the curtains down. Not even getting into that. I don't know if a five-year-old JSB was getting everything out of this song that it has in it. Let's hope not, but really well done. Go to Until the Night. Passover for single release in the U.S. It was issued as a second single in the U.K. following My Life and reached number 50 on the U.K. charts. According to that biographer, Bego, the song was written as a tribute to the Righteous Brothers. All right, so he, he loved the Righteous Brothers. And Billy sings in a higher register and a lower register. And sometimes they're double tracked to kind of give that Righteous Brothers sound. So, yeah, let's do it.
Those late 1970s, uh, 15, 20 second fade outs. A really good song. The song is about Billy and his wife, his girl, whatever. In the morning when they leave each other, they're sad and they kind of have this angst of like, what's going to happen when we're apart from each other? Is everything going to be okay? No one's going to come between us. But then they're all right once they get together, you know, until the night, once the night comes around, they're fine. And just kind of all the things that they go through emotionally between those. I thought it was going to be an easy win for Zanzibar. The longer this song went on, the more I enjoyed it. Um, it's a really well written, but so is Zanzibar because Billy's a, a master songwriter. But it is called the Song Battle. So the whole idea is I got to pick a winner. So I'm going to go with Zanzibar just slightly. I think the jazz in there, just changing it up a little bit. But I think they're both fantastic songs. And Until the Night is probably a better written song. And I like the arrangement of Zanzibar better. So you can flip a coin on this one. I need to know what you guys think. Which one is the winner? And what are some of your favorite Billy Joel songs? Not your favorite, 
It's hard to pick that, but some of your favorites. Thanks again to JSB for bringing this one. Remember to check out the link to his channel down below. I promise you, you'll be entertained. And until next time, guys, I will see you.